So here we have another grammar question, and we can see in the answer choices that we have a colon and a semicolon. So let's quickly review those definitions. For the semicolon, you need two independent clauses. John went to the mall, he bought shoes. For the colon, the first part has to be an independent clause, and the second part is anything that describes the first part. Anything, meaning that it could be a single word, or it could be its own full independent clause as well, as long as it's describing the first part. So there was only one thing Scooby could do, run. Now, by the way, the long dash, which we're not seeing in this question, one of them counts as a colon, and two of them counts as a set of parentheses. So let's get back over here and look at the colon and the semicolon first. That the geographic center of North America lay in the state of North Dakota was conceded by all involved. Establishing its precise coordinates proved more divisive. So here you do have two independent clauses. And that actually means that in that sense, the colon and semicolon both could go. Because for the colon, the second part is anything, as long as it describes the second part. And anything means it could be an independent clause as well. But the question remains, is it describing the first part? And the answer is no, it's not describing the first part. It's talking about a new idea. The fact that it lay in North Dakota was conceded by all, establishing the coordinates was more divisive. So it's a whole new second idea tacked on to the first idea. Why is it being tacked on? Because there is some kind of great relationship that the writing needs to kind of draw out, but it's not necessarily a description of the first part. Now, why are we so comfortable calling this first part an independent clause? It is incredibly awkward, but you do want to get used to what we refer to as the stylish deletion of words. That the center lay in the state of Dakota was conceded by all. Really, it's saying the fact that the center of North America lay in the state of North Dakota. So what's happening is this whole idea that the geographic center lay in the state of North Dakota that's kind of like the big subject of the sentence. That's kind of saying this thing was conceded by all. And what is this thing? It's the idea that the center of North America lay in North Dakota. Or the way they put it, that the center of North America lay in North Dakota. So it's kind of a comfortable wording that has to do with being okay with the fact that certain little words are missing. But when it comes to the stylish deletion of words, if you can understand what's being said without the words being there, then according to sort of the SAT or ACT way of thinking, it's okay to write it that way. So a little more complicated, but yes, that is an independent clause in orange. And we have an independent clause in the second part, establishing the coordinates proved. That's our verb right there. This thing proved. That's our subject verb combination, more divisive. So two independent clauses separated by a semicolon. And the answer here is D.